Hello, I'm Marcus Briggs with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. From chores to parasite control, the best ranchers have it covered. Dectamax injectable from Zoetis protects against 36 types of little parasites, including adult parasites, L4 larvae, and inhibited larvae. U.S. economic activity continues to rebound from the effects of COVID-19, largely due to widespread vaccine distribution and generous federal stimulus aid. Initial jobless claims at 651,000 versus over 5 million in April 2020 have fallen beneath the 2009 peak created during the Great Recession. Household disposable incomes, when adding government benefits, increased 3% over the past year. When consumer demand is improving at a faster rate than suppliers can increase production, prices typically increase with the scarcity of supply. Even during the pandemic-driven recession, the Case-Shiller Housing Index rose 11% through January 21, with annual growth between 5 to 10% still today. New home starts are the highest in 14 years, but Census Bureau data shows a shortfall last year of over 1 million units due to COVID-19. Consumer demand for new housing and construction is reflected in lumber prices. In 2018, random length lumber futures reached a high of $659 per 1,000 board feet, by far the highest price in over 20 years of trading. This week, spot lumber prices more than doubled the 2018 high at 1374 a higher input cost that could potentially add tens of thousands to new home prices. The Bloomberg Commodity Index settled above 88 points this week in its highest close since 2018. The index, which is based on a basket of commodities not including lumber, is 10% above its five-year average today. However, much like lumber, supply tightness in oil, precious metals, and most recently grains have all caused the index price to increase. Spot corn futures were up over 60 cents on the week an explosive price move higher not observed since the drought in 2012. Spot soybean futures were up roughly $1, pushing prices above $15 per bushel for the first time since 2014. Lean hog prices also traded to a new annual high after roughly adding $6 per hundred weight this week. Cattle futures traded lower, with April live cattle down roughly $2.50 per hundred weight, while the deferred contract December futures were down less than 50 cents. In the cash market, light volumes traded in the south midweek at 118 to 120 per hundredweight, steady to a dollar lower. Fed cattle traded in the north at 121 to 123 with dress trade at mostly 192, the two to four dollars lower than last week. At the wholesale level, food service demand continues to improve and the wholesaler is retaining leverage. Choice boxes advanced $5.69 while selects were $5.26 higher. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member, receive the latest market news and analysis.